Hi everyone, so I wanted to do a little chatty vlog. Um, I hope you're all well. I haven't really done a lot of videos lately and um, yeah, I just wanted to do a little bit of a life update and just chat to you about how I'm feeling and you know, it's summer holidays coming up. You should actually see the weather right now. It's pretty shocking. It actually feels like autumn. Honestly, it keeps raining all the time. It's currently like blowing a gale out there. It looks awful. I don't know. I don't actually know where our summit is or if it's ever going to come back. It's quite depressing. We seem to have little dots of days. Like one day it will be like scorching hot and we'll be like, whoa, it's a really hot day. Sandals out, you know, dresses on. And then the next day we're back in raincoats and welly boots and just wrapping up. And my actual body is actually taking its toll. I'm still getting over a cold. Um, and it seems to be dragging on and I think it's because of the change in humidity and weather constantly it's just driving me insane um, so uh, yeah today is Wednesday and I'm just basically just pottering about the house and I just want to sit down try and get some videos done um, Violet's actually got a settling in session today at, at school um, and I wanted to talk about school I might do a separate video on just generally um, you know the pros the progress or process of schooling and I don't know if you want to see that sort of video maybe I could do that because um, I know a lot of you have children um, also starting school in September and although I've been through it obviously with Alistair like three years ago um, which honestly it just flies by and you just forget totally um, absolutely everything honestly you just forget um, and he's also, which is I think really hard for me right now, is that he's moving over to a different school. He's moving over to juniors, which um, a lot of schools don't actually do. Most of them are quite conjoined, like they go from year R to like year six. Um, but Alistair's actually moving only across the car park, you could say. Um, but he's wearing a new uniform and then we're going to have to get used to new staff and new rules and new everything, you know. So it's a big step for him, a big step for all of us really um, in September. And yeah, it's just really overwhelming and I don't know. I'm excited but I'm also like, this is like closing a bit of a chapter of my life, uh, being a stay at home mum and... It's, I don't know, I'm just fine. I'm just struggling with it, I think. I'm struggling the thought of not having a child at home. Uh, I'm trying not to get emotional because generally it's just a little bit hard for me right now. Um, and I don't really cry about it, but it's just, you know, when you think about it, and it's not so bad and then you start talking about it and then it just makes you feel a bit overwhelmed and I feel a bit sad, you know. <sighs> I feel lucky actually to have had the extra year with Violet, to be honest, because as she is an older one, you know, she will be five in October. It does mean that I have had that extra year with her compared to some parents that their children are literally only just turning four. So... Yeah, I think it's hard for me because I think I've said like, <laughs> it's like closing a chapter. My, although it's exciting for me and obviously exciting for the children, especially Violet for starting school, she cannot wait and I've had her in nursery from the age of two and you know, it's just, her doing her thing is just, you know, going off to nursery and being independent is great for her she needs it she really does because her confidence is it's not the great greatest you know it's the best it's ever been though she's just amazing at the moment um but i think what i'm struggling with obviously is just letting go and just um oh God, i don't know why i keep crying oh such an ugly crier as well i'm like oh <laughs> um it's literally just I think it's the whole staying at home, being a mum, doing my job, being me, like I'm so used to being at home and looking after those babies, looking after those little children and now my children are literally having to leave me and just be their own people and and although going into school is exciting and it's great for them and it's kind of the law, they have to kind of go 
it just I don't know I think I could probably keep her at home for another year you know deep down like just to keep everything the same um, but you know she needs to go off and enjoy herself and just learn she's so ready to learn which is the biggest thing for her um, but I think as in previously it's just closing that chapter in my life of being a stay-at-home mum and you know a lot of people are like go on have a third you can just have another baby but it's it's not about that I, I don't want another baby it's not where I'm at at the moment it's not in in my mindset to have another child um, if I want another child I would have had one by now I've nearly waited five years and I'm not that bothered to be honest so who knows what will happen for the future but I think I'm just struggling with um, just processing the thought of this is basically like the summer before I either step out into the big wide world myself and <clears throat> start finding me again which I'm excited about but I am really really nervous about it and having a a massive gap in your uh, work experience life CV if you look on your CV there's a massive gap um, is it's going to be hard I think it's going to be hard um, one trying to get a job I think is going to be a struggle for me because obviously I've had like seven years off um, which I know most workplaces obviously understand that you know women have to you know have that gap to have children have a family but um, yeah I'm just I'm just so worried about it I don't know why I'm just so built up and I think the day that probably Violet steps into full-time education she doesn't actually go full-time till the end of September I think I am honestly going to feel lost um, I love being at home, I love it, I love being a mum, I love doing what I do right now, it's just so nice, um, and it's just so sad isn't it when they grow up, it's just not long enough, um, they're just not young long enough, they grow up far too quickly, and yeah, I'm just really struggling with at the moment, um, you know, Although I'm I'm used to obviously pottering about at home, doing this, that and the other, I think it's just the realisation of it's getting quicker, it's getting, you know, like September has nearly come round so quick and I just remember thinking September when Alistair went into year two, thinking, God, like, Violet's going to be here next year, like, and it's nearly here already, I think this year has flown by so fast, um, I just haven't had a chance to really... Um, think too much about it and now it's like nearly here. I actually breaks up from nursery on the 15th of July so she's got two weeks left at nursery and then she's got um, basically about eight weeks at home with me. I could have continued her nurseriness, like she could have continued going through nursery through the summer holidays but seeing as I've got Alistair off from the 20th of July through till September I just thought I might as well have them off together and it saves me doing a nursery run for the sake of it and obviously I can get to spend that much needed time with Violet before she heads off to school. In other news though, the children have started swimming lessons which has been amazing. Their confidence has again just boosted um, swimming. Obviously we've got our own pool but to actually get in the pool with other children, not with mummy because it's always with me. Um, and just be confident and just be taught is a massive achievement for my two. Um, you know, a couple of years ago I tried swimming lessons with Alistair at about four and a half I think he was and he was not having it, he didn't want to know, he screamed his head off because I wasn't in the pool but both of them have literally just been absolutely amazing, they've been enjoying it. Again, they're still continuing doing karate, they do that once a week and that's kind of um, after dinner time, it's kind of starts at six till seven and they absolutely love that too. It's such a fun thing for both of them to learn together and I'm pleased that they can do that together. So um, yeah, they've been enjoying their little sort of hobbies if you like and I think both of them are really, really useful hobbies as well. Um, I was saying previously about like getting back into the work placement um, 
I have actually been applying for jobs. I'm not hoping to get, I'm hoping not to get a job over the summer because I don't want to. Um, but I just wanted to like get a feel for, you know, get a feel for like sorting out my CV and, and just feel for like applying for jobs and generally just being rejected um, because I don't really want a job right now. Um, I just want to just put, you know, just trial it and see how it goes. Um, if a part-time role maybe comes up, we'll see, but right now I'm just kind of testing the water with just everything, the overwhelmness of like getting a job. Um, and yeah, I'm looking more into like admin. That's more my style, I re that's where I came from and that's where I'm kind of at is admin. I'm still obviously going to the gym and to be honest, I'm probably continually going to the gym more frequently so I go to the gym Monday, Wednesday and Friday, mainly to do cardio, like on the treadmill or on like the cross trainer. And then I also do weights as well. But I've been fitting in spinning in between. So like on the Tuesday evenings and the Thursday evenings, which again is pretty much cardio, you know, um, which I've just been loving. But I think a lot of it is down to um, trying to just fill my, fill my time, like, being at home, obviously, when Violet's in nursery, I kind of feel like sometimes, not necessarily all the time, but a lot of the time, like in the mornings, it's great to just kill an hour, hour and a half, and by the time I get back, have a shower, it's nearly lunchtime, and then the day is nearly kind of there, so I can pick up the children. So, yeah, it's it's a bit of me time, really, and obviously keeping fit is something I really enjoy anyway, so, yeah, it's been helping with that. So, with regards to vlogs and stuff like that, I'm I'm so undecided um, what I am going to do by the future. If I get myself into a, a working environment, I'm not sure how much vlogging or anything I'm going to be doing, to be honest. I don't know how it's going to hit me. I could find it quite overwhelming working, um, especially for the first few weeks, and then obviously juggling being a mum, cleaning, <laughs> My house is actually looks quite tidy from here. This side you can't see, but it's it generally sometimes you just I feel like it's never ending. I, I constantly am washing, I'm constantly folding and putting away. I did my ironing pile last night. Um yeah, so September time, I'm not sure how vlogging is gonna be going down or making videos. Um I don't know, I don't wanna say that I've totally lost my lack of motivation with making videos, but Sometimes I do find it a little bit of a chore and in like the video world it's not really good for it to be a chore because it's very rare that I'm going to be making videos if I'm not going to enjoy it and I want to enjoy it. Um, I do want to though continue to make videos over the summer. Um, it's kind of like the last summer before Violet goes to school and I just... I want to enjoy it and look back. It's mainly, obviously, memories and stuff. But when I've got two children at school, you're not even going to see them. They're not even going to be here. It's just going to be me pottering about, being bored out of my brain. Um, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that at all. Um, obviously, I'm going to help on the farm. That's another thing. I think someone has mentioned, like, oh, you're not just going to work on the farm. I could potentially work on the farm. There's no reason why I can't. I can always get out on the farm and help Graham to help him whatever he needs me to do once especially once the kids are at school um but in an ideal world although I love it um we do have people that work for us and we're paying them to work and they have been doing it for years and years and years um it would be nice for me to add a financial aspect to our household so it would be quite nice for me to generally earn my own money and earn some money to put into the house and and everything on holidays and you know I do obviously make a little little bit from like blogging and vlogging just a little bit honestly it's very bare minimum you don't really get a lot of, a lot of continually um money through youtube and stuff it depends whether you're working at the same time um, but yeah, it would be nice to have an income and also just a social aspect for me is probably really needed right now. I've been very, um, sheltered, you know, being at home with two children for the last seven years. 
So it, it's probably really good for me to actually get out into the big wide world and, and see what's out there really. I haven't worked since I was like 21, which is a long time ago. It's just mental. Um, so yeah, that's basically, I suppose, about the farm and stuff. So as always, if you've got any uh, video requests at all, let me know. I'm always um, open to new ideas and you know, inspiration is always good. I was going to do a and a maybe I could do that. Um, if you fancy like leaving um, some questions below that you want answering, um, I could do a follow up Q&A video at some point. Uh, so yeah, so that could be a, a good video. I haven't done one of those in a very long time, probably about a year or so. Um, yeah, so as always, thanks so much for watching and for sticking by me. <laughs> My journey of like motherhood not necessarily is coming to an end, but it's definitely like tailing off, um, which is hard. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know again if you want any extra videos or anything about schooling or anything. Um, and I will see you all soon.